All right, welcome to day four of the 14-day meltdown. Today is your first isogenics pre-cleanse slash shake day. So today you're going to go ahead. Um, these are some of the things that you're going to be having. You're going to be flooding your body with optimal nutrition, um, having two shakes, and then you're also going to have two of the natural accelerators along with a healthy meal. Um, if you do not have your calendar printed out um, and set up for the next 11 days for the nutritional program, please visit um, our Unicus Fitness Wedding Bootcamp Group Cleanse page on Facebook um, or contact our coaches. You need to have this schedule laid out for you. Um, secondly, as far as the workout, keep up everything that you're doing. Follow that workout again and then make sure that you go ahead and grab a pair of good workout shoes. Make sure that you're comfortably dressed as well as you're going to be utilizing a lot of your body weight. So keep that proper form and technique up. So the first one we call the walk out. You're taking your hands, touching the ground, walking out. Getting into your push up position. Take one and then walk back. The key on this is the feet don't move at all and your hands always remain on the ground even when you come back. You're aiming for between 10 and 15 repetitions of this each time getting a better stretch on the back of your hamstrings. Power jack, not to be confused with the regular jumping jack. The key is that squat at the bottom. Focus on making sure you're dropping your butt way back. Try to keep your arms straight as they come over your head too. Don't bend them. This one's designed to get your inner outer thighs and blast your legs as well as your heart rate. So the lunge jumps, the key is making sure that you stay in the same spot, you land in the same spot, and both feet land at the same time, at all times. Keep your hands on your hips, don't let them leave because they want to get involved. Doesn't matter how fast you go, it matters that you just keep doing a good one. Good. Good. Sometimes they get hard, but just keep going. So on this one, you're popping up to the push-ups and then popping back down. So it comes with many names. We call them one, two, three, fours. Because you're thinking one, two, three, four. The key is making sure that your knees don't touch the ground. How fast you go isn't important. It's just so you just make sure you got a nice straight torso the whole time.